We were invited by Cycling New Zealand to come and 3D scan their handlebars for CFD analysis or airflow analysis. So we thought the best product for the job was the GoScan Spark. Since it can track um, parts using geometry to find where they are in 3D space, as well as color, and they can also use um, little white stickers that you can see on the video called targets. Once the scanner locks onto the part in 3D space, it projects 99 white lines onto the part. Then it will render in real time the 3D scan. So you can see quite clearly on the left hand side that we can see exactly what we're capturing. This definitely makes it far simpler during the 3D scanning process. The 3D scanner also has some buttons on the side of the scanner which enable you to zoom in and out and the whole process is very simple. As still as you can. That's awesome. Once we had 3D scanned the bars and captured them with high detail without the person on it, we 3D scanned the cyclist on the on the bike with their arms rested on the handlebars. And so why we did this was obviously to capture the arms of the cyclist with good um, high resolution detail. But then we were going to use the original scan for the high resolution and details of the, the handlebar so that we could superimpose the two 3D scans together. Once we had finished capturing the 3D scans, we opened uh, VX Elements and then clicked on VX Model and then we can browse for the files that we want to import. VX Model is a scan to CAD module that works right with inside of VX Elements, the software that comes with our 3D scanners. So we imported the meshes and you can see they're not aligned at the moment, but we have enough common geometry to align the two together. So the next step is we're going to click on the alignment tool. Then we're going to set one of the scans as fixed and one as mobile. Click on manual alignment mode and pick a few common points. And then that will just help pre-align it. And then we can click on best fit, which then does the refining of the, the best fit alignment. Once you visualize the results, you can click on OK. Next, we um, take away from the cyclist scan the excess geometry. So we've already captured the bars in great detail. So we're going to grab the lasso tool and select what we don't want to keep in the cyclist scan. So essentially, we're just only interested in the arms at this point. And we can just add to the selection and then delete. If we have a little bit of excess geometry that we want to get rid of, we can connect all and select what we want to keep, reverse the selection, delete what we don't need. So we're left with just the scans that we want. And of course, we can go even further and clean up 
excess geometry and, and data. But for what we were looking to do, this was um, plenty of geometry. So now we're just going to show you the, the finished result. So we just refined it a little bit, added in the, the wheel. And you can see that we've just trimmed up the arms a little bit more because we're only interested in the bars and, and just the underside of the arms.